Hello and welcome to the second video in the Sport Plan Animator tutorial series. My name is Georgia and I'm here to guide you through the Sport Plan Animator tutorial. This week we're going to be looking at the different ways in which you can move a player, as well as how to use the media controls to play back your animations. In the previous video we looked at the general overview of the animator and how you can place icons. If you're unsure on how to do this, make sure you go back and view that video. So how do you move a player? Simply click the player of interest and you will see three options appear in your navigation wheel. Draw, Ball and Delete. The Delete option will remove the selected player from the animation as shown and the Ball option will place the ball with the player. Right now we're going to be using the Draw option. Simply click this option and then click a second time to find where the player will run. A grey line will appear showing the path that you have chosen for your player. You can select and drag and drop at either end of this line, allowing you to change the direction or length of the player's movement. How about making a player complete a secondary run? Well, we draw the first line as shown before using the draw option. Then we click the end of this line. There will be four options that appear. Again, we use the draw option and click again in the position marking the end of the secondary movement. We now have two ways we can manipulate this line, moving it from the middle or the end of its two-part run. So far, we have only been moving in straight lines. But what if we want a player to curve their run? Well, that's just as easy as a straight run. Draw a line as normal by using the draw option in your navigation wheel and select the curve option. This will add an extra two points to the center of your line. By moving these points relative to the start and end of your line, you can create your desired curved run. So there we have it. We've managed to make our players make an initial run, added a secondary movement and even arced our final run. But after all our hard work, we've yet to see our players move. I think it's time we have a look at the animator media controls indicated in red below. Here we have the option to play, stop, step forward, step back, end the animation and rewind the beginning. This brings about the end of our second tutorial in the series. Keep a lookout for part three in which I demonstrate how to give a player the ball and the variety of options that a player has when in possession. Don't forget to click the save option in the control bar at the top. 